Good morning. So I have these precious little moments alone in my house where everything's quiet, unless a dog walks by and makes my dog go nuts. But I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about my book, Chemo Cupcakes and Carpools. And I wanted to um, discuss Chemo Brain because People who've been through chemo understand what I'm talking about. People who love the people who've been through chemo probably are just irritated. So here's what I'm going to say. Um, it's real. You've put yourself into a siege mentality where you are grasping at everything, doing everything, running nonstop. You feel like you're on a treadmill and you just keep going between treatment, feeling like crap and then feeling better. And as you come out of that intense situation, um, and even while you're in it, you may find yourself losing track of your thought. You may find yourself, as I did, looking at someone who's talking to you and thinking, I have no idea what they just said. And it's really disconcerting. I, for me, I thought I was in early onset Alzheimer's. I was terrified. And I went and took a class um, from a really learned doctor in Los Angeles. And they were doing a teaching thing with uh, a bunch of us and trying to figure out the best ways to help us and to tell us the best ways that they had found. And I, I brought out of that a couple of things that were really helpful. One was uh, to concentrate on my sleep, that my sleep needed to be more important. And with teenagers, it's really hard as a mom to get your sleep. You've got one kid getting up early in the morning. You've got one kid staying up late at night or vice versa or both or whatever. Um, I'm, I'm working towards eight. I'm consistently getting seven. So that's good. Um, aerobic activity, taking a walk, going for a run, swimming, anything that gets your blood pumping, your, your lungs breathing deeply and you moving intensely for a short amount of time. I mean, I just walk at a good pace, but I find that it helps my mind. And the other thing I find that helps my mind is, um, oh look, I just forgot. No, the other thing that, I, that helps my mind was going on an anti-inflammatory diet. So more whole foods and less um, crap. And that seemed to really help with the inflammation in my mind, my brain. Um, so, but while you're in it and you're making those changes or you can't yet make those changes because you're still under, what do you do? So I'm going to tell you about a trick I took from my great grandmother. She was a really busy person and she used to write what she had to do during the day on little pieces of paper and she would safety pin it to her blouse. And at the end of the day, she would be able to see what she'd accomplished because every time she did something, she'd just throw away the piece of paper. Um, so write it down. Um, I would write it on a calendar in my uh, phone. I set reminders in my phone. I have like six that come up when I come home because you can set it to go off at a location. So every time I arrive home, I have these things that will come up saying, you know, don't forget to do this, or I set them for when I leave, or I set them for a particular time. If you don't know how to set reminders, reminders are phenomenal. You can also make your alarm go off on your phone and you can name the alarm, which my older daughter taught me about. I had no idea you could name the alarm. That was great. Um, I find also that keeping things visible is really important to me. So like I don't put my bills in a drawer. They're in a pile to the right of my computer. They're right, right over there. Um, because if I see them, I remember to pay them, which is good. Um, I also have my files set up. I'll take a picture of it later in um, magazine files so that I, when I sit at my desk and I'm writing, before I get up or when I arrive, I can see all my little things. And sometimes it reminds me of things to do, but I'll shoot a picture of that later for you. Um, in my book, there's a chapter called why I started burning the pancakes. And I haven't, um, 
It's called, why did I start burning the pancakes? I think you, yeah, as a parent going through chemo and cancer surgeries and whatever, you know, radiation, whatever you're doing, you, there's so much that is demanded on your time. So for me, I've always talked to myself. So this is a really nice way to be. Um, I can chat with you, but it's really to me. And so one of the things I learned in that class was that I would make pancakes for my kids, but I'd turn around to pack a school lunch or cut up some fruit and forget about the pancakes on the stove. So as I turned around, I started doing things which drove my family crazy, um, but helped me. I have pancakes on the stove. I would say, I have pancakes on the stove. And I would turn and I would cut my fruit and I would remember. So simply speaking it out loud was an enormous help. Um, those really are my top um, pieces of advice. So um, I use visual cues anytime I can. Um, for a while, when I was dealing with it really badly, I would forget that I had eaten. Okay, so I was done with chemo, I think, or just about to end chemo. And I would get doing stuff in the morning, and I was teaching at the time, and I, I would get, you know, I'd be doing papers, or I'd be planning the lesson, or I'd be teaching the lesson, and I would literally forget whether or not I had had um, breakfast. So I started leaving the dishes in the sink until lunch, which also was not popular with my husband, but it helped me to not go, oh, I haven't had breakfast yet, I need another breakfast, because something was not connecting between my stomach and my brain in the way it needed to for me to remember. Um, so I, I find that those three things, writing it down, keeping it visible so you can see it, and... Um, and setting the reminders on your phone and the alarms. I mean, I have alarms that go off at 3.30 in the afternoon to remind me to do something right as I pick my daughter up from school. Anything like that is a really big help. So thank you for visiting. This is my first YouTube video. I don't know what I'm doing, so bear with me. I'm not editing, so it's coming to you basically how I shot it. And hopefully I'll be doing more in the future.